Hi there folks and welcome to Paint Along with Matthew Palmer. Now in this series we're going to go through every single stage of watercolour painting, literally starting right at the beginning and taking you through step by step. I'm joined in the studio by three novice painters who have not done that much painting before so it'll be fantastic to see how they progress and hopefully give them and you the inspiration to get started. So let's say hello to the gang. We've got Nigel. Hello. We've got Mandy. Hello. And we've got Harry in the centre there. Hello. Let's get started. This week's painting is a Lake District scene with hills, trees and water. And the techniques you'll be learning are wet into wet skies, painting distant hills and creating realistic water. What we'll do, first of all, is use some natural yellow, a nice light colour for this one. And again, water goes in first, using some burnt sienna, also known as... Bont sienna. Bont. Bont sienna. We'll use some bont sienna there, and then a good clean brush, and we'll get some natural blue, which is a, a realistic sky blue. We can use this colour and then I'm going to use a smaller brush for this one, which is actually a size 6 brush. We'll use this and we'll get some natural grey. What we'll do, folks, is then use the large brush and wet the sky all the way through. Now, the paper's stuck down with some masking tape. And we'll wet this all the way down. And you'll find that it, the top's going to dry relatively quickly, so we'll go back up there again. It's not soaking, it's just getting the right amount of uh, water. And what we'll do is use the natural yellow colour first. So we're just going to wipe it on the side of the palette so it's not completely soaking. And then the bottom half of the picture really is going to go forward and back. And just take it across. Keep going forward and back with your brush strokes. Just take it up, take it down. And I'm going to go for the natural blue colour right at the top. Bring that down towards the yellow. As the blue goes into the natural yellow, it will start to go slightly grey, which is fine. Now this is also going to go at the bottom for the water as well. So that's the light in the centre, the dark below. And then just finish off with a large brush by using burnt sienna or bont sienna. Not too much colour, just wipe it on tissue first. And start to get some direction to this now. So I'm almost putting some clouds in. This is burnt sienna again, wiping it on tissue. And just bringing it through, you can blend it into your sky. And then the paper's still damp. Put that brush away and using the natural grey colour, which is an accurate shadow colour, but it's also good for doing your silhouetted clouds. So I'm going to take the excess off and almost twist the brush. And just take your time at this stage and twist the brush on the paper. And you can start to create evening sky effect. So it's rolling or twisting the brush as you do this one. It's going over the top of the orange or the burnt sienna. And just start to sweep the bottom away as well. Uh, can you see how it's mixing on the paper? Mm -hmm. It's pulling the colour out of the burnt sienna. And again, using some more grey, but always just dab it on tissue first. That's a top tip for you there. Top tip. Always dab it on the tissue. Just give it a bit of a wipe. <coughs> and then twist. All right. There? That's a really small one. <laughs> yes. <coughs> You've got it. And then I'm doing diagonals or horizontals. Um, and the brush feels almost dry at this point and, it's, and the water what's on the paper is allowing this colour to be worked in. Now, the main part of this picture will be the sky, so that's why we can take a little bit more time on it. But I think that's pretty much all we need to do for that sky. And then it's Harry's time in the hot seat. Right then, Harry, it's your turn to get started in this picture. So what we'll okay. do is we'll get some water on first. Lovely. Wet your paper. Thoroughly. All the way through. All the way across. Brightest colour first, which is going to be this sandy colour, which is natural yellow. Yellow. In the centre, that's it. Look at this, eh? Right, straight across. Bring that down until it, the it brush runs out of colour. And then go right. back to the top and take it up until it runs out of colour. That's your background for the uh, evening sky. Right, that's about it. Brilliant. So clean the brush and then we're going to use the blue. Dab Just dab it on tissue because there's plenty of water there and there's plenty of water there. So not right. so much on your brush, but if you just get this at the one. top, yeah. That's it. Right at the top. And sweep it down. So at Mix this point, if you feel that your paint is too thin or it's too light, obviously thicken your colours up. And then it's the same from the bottom up. And hopefully, your colours will start to connect in the uh, middle. I mean, I'll that works then. as a sky anyway, as it is as a simple sky. But what we'll do is get some burnt sienna. Yeah. Just wipe it on tissue again. Yeah. And then we're trying to get that sweep as it goes up. Oh, Remember right, that yeah. sweep, yeah? Yeah. Not too steep, a little bit. Start to bring it down a bit this way. Yeah. I'll crisscross it. Doesn't matter it. Cause this is like a professional, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, a good teacher. Yeah. Working pretty quick because it's drying on us, so go for the smaller brush and Number then we'll go six. for the grey. And then you twist in oh, yes, clouds, yes. Roll, roll, roll them. Roll. Roll them. 
If you get your brush almost flat to your paper like this, imagine it's like that. Yeah, that's like it. That. There you go. That's, oh, that's it. Better. That's better. Brilliant. And then just imagine the silhouette of the clouds that you see on the evening. After the sun's gone down. Look at the clouds up there. Yeah. After the sun's gone down. Oh, you're taking is, notes. This is much better what we're doing now. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I'll, I get better from there to there. <laughs> <laughs> then the painting again, that'll take away that shape. So if you just pull this line towards me. Fantastic job. Let's have a quick recap. Okay. Start off by wetting the paper and using the large brush to paint in the natural yellow first, followed by natural blue, and then burnt sienna on a slight angle. And then the smaller brush and the natural grey to give a silhouette cloud effect. So while Mandy and Nigel finish off that stage, let's have a look at how paint reacts with water. Let's talk about wet into wet. I put some tape across the picture there, just some masking tape using clean water. Not too much there, we're just going to put the water across just slightly above the tape there. Then using a medium tree brush and a nice watered down green mixed from bright yellow and blue. And literally just going to stipple right down to the tape and you'll notice how the water is actually bleeding upwards and falling down towards the tape. The wet into wet technique is great and a simple quick way of painting trees. Using a thicker darker mixture of the same green I can layer this forward making it slightly higher as well achieving a nice natural effect straight away just by pulling it down in front of the background trees there. Fill it all in very simply and a fantastic and quick and easy way of painting background trees for your landscape watercolour paintings.